Hi, I'm Hope Cam for IPF, and welcome to hamradio.world. Today, I'm going to show you what we have now in our Shack in a Box. It can do anything from 160 through 70 centimeters and the li linear satellite. So what we have on the top is our LDG tuner. We have our radio head, and that can move to adjust to where you want it. The radio is under it. This isn't attached yet, so that we can show you under the plates in a minute. Um, we have our SDR play, SDR receiver. We have our Targetronic signal link. And we have our Buddy Pull Power Mini Charge Controller. So under this, we have all of our stuff here. We have our grounding wires, which this one would go up to the top when it's hooked up, and there's a shorter one going to the radio. And not everything's hooked up yet, so we could show you this, but um, on the back we have labeled which antennas are what. On the back we also have our place to put on the solar panel and the battery. Here's our radio, and we have all its connections, all its wires, all of that good stuff that you need to get done. And so we have our fused rig runner, we have where the mic goes in, and so that's basically everything, but um, let's see, Daddy, do you have any questions? Pretend to be the audience. Well, Hope, what kind of a box did you make it in? We made it in a Pelican uh, 1510, I think it is. We made it in a 1510 Pelican case, and it's somewhat waterproof, well, water resistant at least. Um, it's not waterproof, but we wanted it to be somewhat water resistant at least. And this nice piece of wood, how did you guys get that wood done? Our friend Mo, um, made the um, wood, he, well, we, he measured it, and he then cut the plywood, and he rounded it out for us, and then we um, stained it, and we clear coated it with spray paint, and then we um, drilled holes in it, there are lots of big holes for the wires. We drilled holes, we mounted everything. Industrial Velcro saves us for a lot of things. Um, and so that's how we did the wood. So then how are you mounting this in the box then? You originally, you were thinking about building some kind of a frame out of wood, mm -hmm. but Mo came up with another idea. Mm -hmm. Well, as you see here, we have these metal, it's aluminum. Um, metals that we got is in like uh, 90 degree shape. Is that how you say it? Yeah, 90 degree. And we measured it to where it needed to be for the length of this and everything to the top of the radio. Then we screwed it in and we sanded the edges, of course, so that um, no one gets hurt by it. But So we mounted it like that. We did the same here. And then we drilled holes that match up with these. And then it would go on. <coughs> There's a wire, sorry. It would go on like that. Okay, and then we notice that we have a problem with this. Um, when we try to shut it, which we're going to have to fix, the radio kind of hits a little bit. You can still shut it, but you have to push down hard. Mm -hmm. So what we originally did was we lined up. Go ahead and take the lid off. When we put these in, if you remember, what we did was we lined them up here with uh, a smooth part, and then you guys used super glue to hold them in, and then we drilled the holes for the screws. What we didn't take into account was what we thought we originally were going to do. Show the lid again. We were originally going to put the control head for the 857D on an angled piece of wood, but then we decided to use this little gimbal thing that I had from work. And the gimbal thing made it so that the lid, the lid won't shut. So we're going to have to re-engineer that. But mm -hmm. this is the first attempt. So tell us why are you guys building this? 
Well, we built this so that we could get um, a radio station onto the Dry Tortugas. As you probably know, Shikana, me and Daddy are going to the Dry Tortugas. And so this will enable us to do um, more satellites than just the um, regular ones that we do. We can do linear with this, um, and we can do some of the digital modes cause if the bands are all dead. So we can still make some contacts. Yeah. Hopefully the bands won't be dead, but yeah. Okay, so there's anything else you want to talk about? What about Shack in the Box? What's significant about Shack in the Box? Are you guys going to be doing something with that? Sometimes. Well, we decided that we would probably start selling Shack in a Box, so that's what we're calling it. Shack hyphen in hyphen a hyphen box. Shack in a Box. Because that's basically what it is. Uh, this is one of the models. We're thinking of a few models. We're thinking of something like this. Um, it's a heavier one, but it has um, more things than just um, the regular one that we have here. So we are thinking of doing different kinds of go boxes for different uses. So if you're interested, um, over the next few months or something, we'll be working on it. So this is one of them. Uh, that's another we'll probably be doing. And is that it? I think you probably covered it. Okay. I think you said everything you said you wanted to say. I think so. Okay, 73. Should I have filmed that? No. No, it was horrible. <laughs>